So good afternoon guys. I'm I just want to show you my lap nya mag nya culture. So the water is very red and also the dap nya that we have collected is also red. As you can see there's so much dap nya in here. There's a dap nya boom here. So three days ago I put the old water from the catfish pan then I put starter and now there's so much of the dap nya. They multiply very very fast in just a matter of few days there's so much of them the secret is I've collected water from catfish pond like this So I collected the water and put it there in the Dapnya culture pan. So the water is reddish and also the Dapnya that we have collected are so red. As you can see the live ones are here. Here they are still alive but I have collected them to feed on our guppy culture. So right now we will feed this to our guppy. Yeah. Put some in here. The gap is supposed to get them. So still more. Got more left. See that much. Gap not collected. So we'll put here. This is our grow out pan for the guppies. So we release all of the duck nya. So we collect another batch of duck nya. Because as, you, as per my experience, when the water quality and most of the bacteria in the water are gone our dapnya culture will also crush so better to collect all the dapnya and feed them while they're still here and alive because eventually they will die depends on the water the food availability on the water if their food become scarce they start to die off so we're collecting so much in here for our copy culture so that our guppies grow faster advantage of this dap nya is that they don't die easily as long because this is fresh water so they still can live and survive in that water Put here collect some more we have the dap nya we need to collect and collect so that's our sharing for today i will continue feeding my guppies with this food thank you for watching god bless